What's up, Dash Bam? Uh, another new week. It's Monday. I uh, hope you all had a good uh, weekend. Uh, wanted to go over a couple things today and what's happening. What's happening? Um, today's a little bit of a slower day uh, as far as uh, work's concerned, so I'm going to take a little bit of time to go over a couple things. Um, one of them, and I was talking to, to somebody, and I, I get this all the time, so I, I wanted to talk to whoever wants to listen, <laughs> um, uh, basically about, about ourselves, about our thought processes, things like that. So no, don't worry, I'm not going to make it all boring and crazy, but, um, it makes me sad that in, in this day and age, um, we talk to kids. I like to coach. I like to coach football and baseball and women's softball and volleyball and just about anything I can coach. I played just about everything, and so I want to, you know, help other people as well. And I, I did very good in my career and uh, beyond high school and college. So um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about, and if anybody you know that may need to hear this, um, we see it in the psychology world a lot, in the counseling world a lot uh, with my wife. Um, the kids are not taught to be mentally strong anymore, and it it's kind of tough. And we see, you know, uh, some of these other uh, places, you know, YouTube has them, and some of these other places with uh, um, videos, they, they show a lot of spoofs of, you know, kids born in the 80s, and kids born in the 90s, and the kids born in the 2000s, and, you know, they're making all fun of them, and, you know, and that they're all getting weaker, or whatever the case is. Well, I don't think they're necessarily weaker. They obviously are growing up differently than, than I did. Um, I was told to go outside and play in the sticks and, and, you know, climb trees and get muddy, be home when the lights are out. And, uh, if not, you know, I got whooped. So, but it's sad to me that, uh, I see not just the generation cause I can't, I can't put everybody in that cause there's some great people obviously in every, everywhere, but, um, there's some kids in this generation that have not, and the past have not been taught to be mentally strong they don't understand really what it means that look you you become what you think um if you constantly are telling yourself you're stupid or telling yourself that you're you know you're not smart and that you can't do this or you can't do that because somebody else has told you that and you you haven't really been taught what i feel is a necessity in this life that that your mind is the most powerful tool you've got um and if you can't, if you can't understand that, then that's okay. But um, get with somebody that can teach you that, because it it literally is the difference between having um, an okay life and having a phenomenal life. It's also the key to having a very difficult and horrible life. Um, if you believe that I'm going to get this or I'm going to do that, or and a lot of that means you're being afraid of. So what you think of the most you will become, right? It's kind of a, this big circle. Um, everything becomes, everything's starting with a thought and that, that thought becomes more of a thought. So more repetition of that thought, then you start putting a little bit of, you know, feeling towards that thought. Then you start liking that thought or, or hating that thought. Hate is just as powerful, if not more along with fear than love and want. So once we start putting a feeling to that, then things in our life self subconsciously and, and, uh, you know, metaphysically or with heavenly father, whoever you want to, you know, however you want to name it. Um, me personally, it's, you know, I believe in God. And so, um, I also believe in metaphysical cause everything here lives. Everything is, is breathing and living. Um, so if we understand that concept that once you start believing in something, because when that, when that feeling starts coming and you are loving it or hating it or whatever it might be, um, then things start to become that way. You start doing things without knowing it to lead you to that end, to lead you to that consequence or that reward. And sometimes that's a bad reward or a good reward, but it's leading you to there. It's it, you will get what you want. But it just depends on what you're thinking is what whether you get it or not. Um, so I, I've talked to several youth lately, and um, 
they don't really understand this concept and it's something that I remember growing up with I remember our coaches our teachers our, our parents everybody taught us this understanding that you know what our thoughts are are what we become um, so we're always taught to keep our minds clear and keep our minds healthy and you know only put things into your head that you want to come out physically um, for the good and um, with our counseling I know that uh, my wife and I will counsel this quite often and I have a graph that it goes over um, but it, it's amazing that so many people don't have that anymore and it it kind of shows the mentality a little bit about what's happening in this world and it um, it kind of makes me sad everybody's being pushed into listening to certain things whether it be you know on uh, a politics or racism stuff or whatever it doesn't matter man you peel the skin off we all bleed red um, we're all human beings at that point but there are people and there are factions and things that they want you to continue to think of those things again it comes to the thought if they can get you to think of those long enough then you get emotionally involved and then we start having these riots and um, this racist type stuff that happens which is so ridiculous um, I'm Viking my wife is Hawaiian uh, we're a mixed family and I'm super proud of that um, and I dare anybody to say something to me about it but um, we uh, we love everybody it, it's it, and it's it's kind of sickening to us it, it really kind of upsets me because um, I, I see these kids and I, I was told when I was a kid that we you know we're the future and we had this whole song with you know Michael Jackson and all those guys about we are the future and you know as corny as it may be it's exactly the freaking truth every generation with kids every kid that's a kid will someday run this country will someday be taking care of us will someday be making our cars our homes our whatever and man if we don't get off it and we don't start you know teaching them uh to be mentally strong you can forget about anything else being strong um so anyways that was my rant that was my soapbox every once in a while i'll get on one but uh uh, leave any comments that you want. I understand if you uh, have a different opinion than me, that's fine. Um, just keep it clean in the comments, and I'll leave your comments, and I'll even address them, and we can have a discussion about it. But if you if you come on here and just get crazy, obviously I'm just gonna I'm gonna report you and block you and do all that. I don't mind thumbs downs. I don't mind uh, people telling me their opinion is completely 100% different than mine. I, I don't mind at all because um, I know everybody has one, and sometimes I can learn quite a bit from that. But guys, just know that I, I love you all. Those that are here that support me, that um, even though it's a small channel right now, we're, we're growing and we have some people coming aboard. Um, so please, if you this is the first time that you're hearing it, um, if you go back and watch some of my videos, you'll see that, that we're just all over the place. Um, I don't have anything, one specific thing that I'm doing right now. Um, but uh, as a my profession right now is a deck builder, but we also counsel at home. Um, so we counsel a lot of uh, um, husbands and wives and family counseling. So uh, my wife and I have a very unique relationship. We, we literally are almost together 24 seven and people think we're nuts, but you know, we don't fight, we don't argue. We did in the beginning, we had maybe three three arguments, three fights, and that was about it. And we've never had, never had them again. We, because we talk about everything and we don't assume anything and that has made our life amazing together so uh, and I treat her as uh, how I'd want to be treated she does the same with me and that means there's massive respect between the both of us so love each other help each other do what you can you know pay it forward when you got it take it when it's uh, offered um, don't be too proud that you, you can't take help or anything else in this life because you, you don't want to take the opportunity away from somebody that's that's trying to serve and trying to, uh, you know, get some good karma on their side too. So um, hope everybody does well. Hope everybody's doing good today, that you have a great week. Uh, I'll see you again. I'll be on here either again today or again tomorrow. But 
Um, as things happen, we're going to take a trip here on Wednesday. So I'll be able to have a, a couple new ones. We're going to Arizona. Um, and some of the things that we're going to see, I'll definitely put those up. But, hey, we love you guys. Um, Shaka out. Talk to you soon. Bye.